It's the third day of the Chinese national holiday. The weather is ideal, the sky is blue, and conditions are just perfect to visit Beijing's bell and drum towers. The locals on the holiday are enjoying the day. Even the bell cat is relaxed and happy to accept attention from the dozens of visitors. The bell tower stands 33 meters high. The bell was cast in 1404 and it weighs about 63 tons. It once kept time and peeled 108 times a day. How it was cast and lifted up into position is shown in wood carvings all around the bell. Narrow corridors surround the bell and echo with footsteps. The bell striker is a golden fish hanging from four chains. On a clear day, the bell tower offers magnificent views from every quarter. Of course, 98% of visitors are Chinese from other provinces visiting Beijing. Not so many low wai or foreigners. And now we come to the story of the bell casting goddess and even today she has a temple of her own in Beijing. The legend tells of how the bell caster's daughter threw herself into the boiling furnace as they poured after many casting failures. It was believed a virgin's blood would blend the metals to make the perfect bell. As she ran to her death one of her golden slippers fell off. And legend goes, if you listen carefully when the bell tolls, you can hear her calling for her shoe. But now it's time to move on to the drum tower. The courtyard between the two towers is only about 100 meters. The drum tower at 46 meters is higher than the bell tower's 33 and certainly more beautiful. There are many ancient timekeeping devices like the three tanks with three taps and the little man who clashes his cymbals every 50 minutes. Next to it is a calibrated oil burner. But 
we have come to see the magnificent drums that used to beat out the Beijing time. Unfortunately, they are all copies. The originals were destroyed, like most of Chinese cultural heritage, during the invasion of the Allied forces, when Britain, Germany, Russia, France and Japan quelled the Boxer Rebellion in the 1900s. The reason? China did not want to do business with the West and rebelled to get all the foreigners out of China. The Allied forces attacked, destroying everything they could to force China into submission. The skeleton of just one drum remains and it carries the scars of the invaders hacking swords. Next to it is a copy of how it once looked. It's ironic that China is now the supermarket of the West and those Western countries that represented the invading Allied forces trying to crush China would now have serious trouble surviving without the markets of modern China. As we walk through the building, everyone is waiting patiently. Outside in the bright sunshine, the drum tower offers fantastic views south towards the Forbidden City. Hidden by trees we can see Hohai, the back lake close by. We will visit it later in the day. Directly down the road we see Scenic Hill. To the right is the White Pagoda. It sits on an island called Beihai Park in the North Lake. Time is drawing near for the event everybody has been waiting for. The crowd gathers for the traditional beating of the drums.
And when you holiday in China, the bell and the drum towers are definitely worth a visit. Bye-bye.